Hello and welcome to my channel, Mine's Iron Inspiration. This is going to be your pick a card reading for the week, the 3rd of October 2021. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. So please just take what resonates with you. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. That way you won't miss any future videos that I release. And don't forget to look out for your monthly tarot reading for whatever star sign you are, because they are now being released. So what you need to do is just look at the um, lines of cards. We've got line one, two and three. Pick whichever line you are drawn to. And this will be... Um, your reading for the week it's just for a bit of fun and I do hope it resonates with you now I will put time stamps in the description box below so if you do pick line two or three you don't have to sit through the whole reading you just click on that time stamp and it will take you to your reading okay so we're now going to turn over line one and let's see what's in store for you this week the King of Swords, Temperance, the Moon and Serena, the Angel of Abundance. Okay, so for those of you that have picked line one, you've been going through a bit of a difficult time here, look, the King of Swords. Something has ended, a situation has ended. This it might even have been some kind of relationship or friendship. It's ended. The sawn's been cut. The head's been chopped off. You've got the butterflies here. That's now the transition, the new beginning, the rebirth. So something has ended. And this week sees you moving forward to better times. You've got temperance. Now temperance is all about the balance, the look. The mind, the body, the spirit. So it's everything. It's your feelings, your emotions. They're all over the place at the minute because of this situation ending. You're trying to deal with it. You're trying to work it all out in your head. You're trying to work out how you feel. Because sometimes when a relationship or a situation ends, it doesn't mean that you can suddenly just stop loving that person or loving that um, career that you was in. You still have feelings for it, even though it's ended. So you're now working out those emotions, working out those feelings, saying your mental goodbyes and preparing yourself for life without this in it anymore. And you've got the moon card, look. So the moon card again, as the moon travels around the earth, we have days, we have nights, it affects our mood, it affects everything. So it's all about the emotions again, the moods changing, the day, the night, how different you feel in the day to you do in the night. It can be about the shadows, things that are no longer aware to you or things that you weren't aware of that suddenly came into light so again it's all about this working out dealing with what's happened dealing with the emotions dealing with the changes but life's going to get good because you've got this abundance the angel of abundance is with you and it's going to make sure that you receive the money that you need. Any money that's owed to you, any money that you need for your new pathway, your new beginning. Have faith. Ask the universe to help you and they will listen. Ask Serena to help you, bring you this abundance, bring you this money into your life. to help you with your new start. 
Okay, I wish you all the luck this week for those of you that have picked line one. Don't forget to ask the universe for that money that's owed to you, for that money that you need. And uh, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed that reading and it resonated with you. Okay, so now let's uh, turn over the cards for those that picked line two. Wow, look at your week. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. You've got the Two of Cups. Oh my God, it gets even better. You've got the Queen of Coins. And you've got Isa. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. Wow. Those of you that have picked line two, look at your week. This is an amazing week for you. You've got the wheel of fortune. How quick things can change. This week, things are going to change for you dramatically. And look, I mean, look at these goodness you've got coming. That's two cards here with abundance and the two of cups. So this could be a relationship that you've been, you know, you've been fancying this person, you've been wanting to make a move, suddenly it happens. Or this could be a business relationship, a business partnership, a promotion, but it's the coming together. Twos are about two people or two things coming together. You know, one is the idea, one is the birth, two is it starts. The wheels are turning, things are in motion, it's coming together, it's starting. So you've got definite new starts, something that you have already been working towards, already started, and it's, things are going to move this week. It's like somebody puts the foot on the accelerator pedal and whoom, things charge forward. And the queen of coins, look at that. Look at that lady sat in the garden with all the flowers around her, all that abundance and that growth. It's a really, really good card. It shows money, it shows rebirth, it shows growth. So if this is to do with a business or a job, then it shows real growth this week. Expansion. This is a really good week to push forward with your new ideas, to push forward with your business plans, push forward with your creativity. Again, with this card, it's saying it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. The universe is watching over you, it's guiding you, protecting you during these changes. So it's just a really good week for those of you that have picked line two. A really good week to get things going, get things started, pushing forward. Whether this be a relationship, whether it be a job, whether it be wanting to sell your house or buy a house. You know, whatever it is, health-wise, work-wise, money-wise, career-wise, relationship-wise, it's the week to get things moving. It's the week to push things forward. It's that week for abundance. Your wheel of fortune, you know, your your bad run or your slow, it, it's, life is changing. And it's just a brilliant week for you, for those of you that have picked line two. Okay. So let's turn over line three and let's see what you've got this week. You've got the Hermit card. You've got the Knave of Swords. You've got the Seven of Coins. And Adriana, I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts and dreams look at that somebody there that angel is guiding those children look she's trying to guide them she's trying to lead them to where they need to be 
which is funny because if you look at the picture in this card, the angel has got a lighted torch. And when you look at the hermit, he's got a lighted torch. So you really are, for those of you that have picked line three, you're trying to be guided. The universe is trying to guide you in the right way to go. You're in a stage in your life at the moment where you are not where you want to be. It's like you are walking aimlessly. You're in that middle ground. You've not quite made your mind up. You're not quite aware of what you want or where you want to go. Or if you are aware, you're not sure how to get it or how to get there. So it's like you're walking aimlessly, but you're being guided. You are being guided. Spirit are trying to guide you to where you need to be. So ask them, ask the universe, say, show me the way, show me the light, lead me to the direction of where I need to be. And I think our candle's just gone out. And you've got the knave of swords. So again, things are up in the air, decisions yet to be made, ideas yet to be given birth to. So it really is, it's like everything's in that beginning stage. But there seems to be so much chaos going on around you as well. So it's like you're standing there and you've got all this chaos going around you and you're just standing there thinking, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say, I don't know which way to go. So ask for that guidance because they are trying to teach you. The seven of coins, look at that. You've got all this money, all this abundance, all this good fortune to come. It's there, it's, it's being born, it's growing. And you're in that waiting stage. Again, you're waiting for it all to start. You're waiting to be where you want to be. You're waiting to be shown the way. And it will happen. So concentrate on those thoughts that come into your head. Those little ideas that suddenly come into your head. Because that could that could be the spirit world, putting those little bits of information in your head, those little ideas, that little bit of intuition. Suddenly, you're sitting there and suddenly this brilliant idea comes into your head. Write it down, follow it, look into it. Because that's the universe trying to guide you. They're giving you those thoughts. They're giving you those ideas. That intuition, that pull in your stomach, that guides you, that makes you think, yes, this is a good idea or no, this is a bad idea. Listen to it. It's guiding you and it's trying to show you the way to go. Well, I wish you an amazing week. And don't forget to listen to your ideas. Don't forget to follow that guidance. And if this reading has resonated with you and it's helped you in some way, then do leave a message in the, in the comments box below and do click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to look out for your monthly tarot reading with me as well. Thank you for watching.